Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 12 by 12 inch canvas and it's got some Sherwin-Williams white paint on it. Latex white paint and a satin finish. I have a pan of leftovers that I have removed from my silicone mat with a spatula. Almost out of paint anyway. It's time to go to Sherwin-Williams again. If you spend more than 50 bucks at Sherwin-Williams, they give you ten, uh, $10 off, so bear that in mind. So, here's my, here are my colors, although I'm inclined to spread my puddle a little bit. And meld up those gaps somewhat before putting this extra puddle down. And I'm not sure if I'm just going to do deconstructed blooms on top of the leftovers that I'm going to tip and spin out or if I'm going to do scoop and drags. I've got paint going down my edges. I usually put a spatula to them, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Except for right here. And <laughs> right here. Because usually I don't like wasting the, the paint that winds up on the winds up on the spatula, but this time I can just wipe it off on the edge. No waste. No discernible waste. All right. So here goes nothing. This might be the one I've been waiting for. I did have some colors that weren't taken off of the silicone mat that were on a card that I had used to create an island in a, in a seascape. I don't think I'm going to need much of anything added to this. But I may want to fill up my, I may have extra paint left over when I'm done. I'm inclined to take a palette knife and uh, put some cell activator on it and see what happens. I want to know what that is. That's something that doesn't belong. All right. So this is fairly well used up. I kind of think if I put the cover back on it, I might be able to scrape some more off into it. So let's move everything around. Or maybe even pour into it. Which is probably more, more to the point. Let's bring that right back again. That's a heavy canvas. That I'm going to make a huge mess with. But it's kind of fun. I mean, it's definitely going to be a huge mess. And there's way more paint than I can use there. So I'll have more leftovers. But I love leftovers. Let's see. I like that negative space there. See if I can take off my extra paint with one hand.
better than I expected. So I should get this out of here. That's pretty cool. I can't keep it, unfortunately. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to spin it off because there is just that much paint. And I need a moment to rinse my hands. And to think about it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll do what I said I was going to do and just drag a spat, um, palette knife through there. I think I ought to hit it with a torch first, though. The colors turned out really cool. I think I'll be popping bubbles. I do see that I have a, an uncovered corner. But I don't think that that's going to be much of an issue. I'll just grab some of the paint that's seeping down off the edges with one of my little acetate tools. You can always ask me for the video tutorial for the acetate tools if you can't find it. I usually include it under the video. All right, all edges are covered. So it's time to decide if I'm going to spin out or what. I haven't left myself any room at all to get rid of my bottles. Which is too bad because I need to get rid of my bottles to spin. I am organized but not always the most organized. So here's my littlest palette knife. I'm thinking black and gold. Maybe it should be black and silver. Do I have some silver? I do have some silver still. Let's try that on this side that I just was messing around with. I kind of want some Pebio iridescent pink too. Iridescent blue violet it's called. So let's just grab black. And the silver's going to be hard to tell from the gray. But that's some um, Pebio's iridescent silver. Got some cells. I kind of like that. Doesn't look like I need any more. <laughs> if I had a smaller palette knife, I think if I spin, they're going to all go away anyway. I kind of want to go right in there. So why don't I do that? Only because I know I have to spin and I don't have a choice. Silver came up nice. Not sure how to do this to get the mark I want. Being, let's see. And I can scoop and drag if those come up. I really liked what I had. I still like what I have. I don't want to scoop and drag. All right, I guess it's a lesson, some kind of lesson. And I don't have a choice. I have got to spin some of it so it's exactly where it belongs in between. So I still could add blooms if I wanted to, but I don't know what it's going to look like, so that's an option. Yeah, and I'm spinning hard and fast because I want to see, I want to get to that point. Well, it still looks kind of cool. So far, so good anyway. I think I will add some blues though. So I'm going to start with some of my. I was going to use the Mayan gold. Maybe I will. I want the. 
I want the Indian Spice. And all I'm finding is shiny taffeta. There's the Indian Spice. So where should I put a bloom? I think right there. Got my jasmine. That's a primary element. So is the Indian Spice. Quinacridone Nicolaser Gold is from Golden. And I'm going to risk some Snapdragon. Let's see how I like that. still deconstruct these blooms. Let me grab my straw. I'm interested in deconstructing, I think. So I'm going to try... I want to blow that out before I even get started. Now I'm inclined to try the Jasmine, Quinacridone Nicolaser Gold, and some of iridescent blue green. And I may be going for a third flower. Oh, it helps if you use the cell activator. Can't believe I did that. Super happy that still worked. And there's my head rush. Still thinking about deconstructing them, so I want another flower over here because I kind of like this. I'm going to start with my Quinacridone Nicolaser Gold. Jasmine. And this time I'm going to use a little bit of saffron prison pour and no blue at all. wondering if maybe I need a couple more, <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm going to give it a spin before I decide to make that decision. Although I have some really, really, really nice paint. I guess I'm going to go for it. I like that area down there so much though. So let's we'll just go really less is more sort of thing. That is Tempting Tulip. <laughs> this is Rhapsody Rose. Both of those are primary elements. I'm going to give myself one more flower. I'm going to start with a Snapdragon. Go for the Jasmine. Go back to the 
saffron, and I will list the colors underneath. What did I want to go last? I wanted a little bit of quinacridone nicolazo gold right on top of that. And if I like it, maybe I won't spin it out, but I kind of think I have to. I like that Snapdragon. Okay, I'm going to spin. I think I was only supposed to give myself one more minute. So I want to tell you guys I love you. <laughs> uh, thank you for inspiring the heck out of me, which you do all the time. Oh, I need to wreck. Or do I? I need to at least pull some petals in. I didn't go too far with that one. Wish me luck. So, leftovers and blooms. And no, I love you guys. That's going to be, that's pretty cool. I see this one mark down here I want to move. Right off the canvas. That's pretty cool. I'm good with that. I got one more mark. kind of bugging me and it looks like there's actually something in the paint and hopefully it will dry okay there was something in the paint all right I love you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves don't forget to look for the 20% off color art coupon code below the video along with the 10% off color uh, pixel paint designs code um, Getting everything. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind words and your comments that keep my morale boosted. Thank you for joining the membership. If you do so, you get 110 videos for members only. Thank you for your donations. The PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner is the way to do that. And I really appreciate that so much. Or you could shop my Amazon link at no end to cost you and find my two books there and four lists of all kinds of paints and canvases and tents, even everything you can want and, and more. Please share my videos. Please watch some longer. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I do sell my artwork. I do I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And on my link tree, you'll find a couple of websites, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. Under the video, you'll find Spring Clothing and Spring Clothing, Le Gallerist, Society6, Pixels.com, and Fine Art America. I can all have my at where artwork added there for reproduction of uh, prints or merchandise. So if you find something you'd like to have a certain thing added to, just let me know and I will do my best to add it. I love you guys. You inspire me the heck, the heck out of me. My community board is going to show you tomorrow's video at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Questions are welcome and encouraged. I'm happy to answer your questions if I can. And if I can, I'll let you know. Um, whatever I'm forgetting, you'll see in another video. I love you much. I'm standing up here trying to sparkle at you and not doing a very good job. The phone's in my hand. All right. I, I think that's just going to be good enough for me. I'm happy with the colors and my blooms, and I'm happy with my weird background. And I love you guys. I hope you come again. Bye for now. Priscilla out.